there are times in the books where I absolutely hate Jen and then there's times when I love Jen. How many other ways can you be judgmental with five little words? We are not like them, okay? So keep watching to find out what book we are talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denagno. So today we are talking about the book, We Are Not Like Them. 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 This book has two authors, Christine Pride and Joe Piazza. So the genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. I was gonna say very hard to read, but an easy read with a difficult subject. And that is very, very hard, okay? So in the book, you're following the friendship of Jen and Riley. Now listen, the book is about social justice. It's about police brutality. It's about death. But the core of the book, to me, the absolute core is friendships. Okay, so the biggest plot twist in the book is when you find out that Riley helped Jen get pregnant. Okay, and that was so surprising because you're like, wow, look at their friendship. It's changed. It's growing. There's physical changes, right? Jen cut her hair. She looks a little bit different. And Riley changes her name. Big differences throughout the friendship, but you get to watch it grow from when they were kids to teenagers to being in college to where they are now, right? Like even at the end when you're reading it and you find out that Jen is moving from their city to Florida and you're just like, no, but also how's this gonna change their relationship? But also good for you, right? Like there are times in the books where I absolutely hate Jen and then there's times when I love Jen and I really thought Riley was going to date the brother. <laughs> um, what's the mom's name? The crux of the entire story is this friendship. Absolutely the friendship. If they were mere acquaintances, you know, you would not have nearly as many challenges, nearly as many reasons to support the friends, right? So that's a level to their relationship because Jen is married and what happens when another person, when a spouse comes into the relationship, right? So let me know, do you agree with me that friendships grow and change and mature and do all these crazy things? Or do you just have different friends for different seasons? <laughs> okay, I have a friend that I've had since the sixth grade. Our relationship has changed 18 different times. All right, but I also appreciate when you get some friends that you've known for like three or four years, right? Not people that have known you forever. Okay, so friendships are so important to me because life's changed, things grow, and then uh, all this stuff happens. But the fact that Riley was so instrumental to Jen getting pregnant. And then the pregnancy being such a big deal in relation to everything that's happening in their lives, it was just like, I mean, every possible thing that could have been wrapped up between these two happened, right? Short of Jen being married to Riley's brother. Okay, that's the only thing that would have made it absolutely more complicated. Now, I'm not afraid to tell you that I'm reading the book in 2023, specifically in March 2023. And so there have been a number of things that have happened this year that are absolutely heartbreaking with the police. There have been a number of things that's been happening in the last 10 years, 20 years, right? Go back to Rodney King. Trigger warning, if you are sensitive to stories about police in the news, people dying, things like that, please know that is a strong part of this book okay and i don't mind giving that spoiler because don't pick this up if it is going to send you into a tailspin and throw you off for the next week whatever you need a break from it just like you need a break from the news just like you need a break from anything right i can't even binge watch the walking dead too many seasons or i'm like oh, okay look i, I can't sleep <laughs> okay so again thank you for spending some time with me today on kyla's reading day and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.